The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Ben, I know this has destroyed most of your relationships. Tell us about that. Some of my partners have been okay with it. They're not, not to say it's perfect, but they've been okay with it. Um, we've had a great relationship outside of that. But for others, it's they've taken it personally. It's kind of it's not what sex is meant to be. Um, in other occasions, it, it it limits my drive because there isn't that pleasure that I get that perhaps drives men in in a, in a slightly different way. So some girls are kind of, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you jumping on top of me? Why aren't you, you know, why aren't you doing this? This is what I'm used to. Um, so there's been different strains, but every time there's always been some kind of issue, really. Um, so I think what you're saying, Ben, is me that... I to get it sorted because I want to be in a healthy relationship and I want to have kids. That, that it's, you're staying away from sex because of your concern that, that you can't a end that sexual experience in quote-unquote the normal way. So what you're saying is a lot of your relationships you, you sort of haven't even tried? It's not so much I haven't tried. I mean, there's been times where I've been with someone in the early stages and I'm fully aware that they've got an entirely different drive to me, that, you know, sex is everything for them. It's a huge thing. And for me, I'm thinking, God, we're going to be on different pages here. So on that basis, I haven't tried in the relationship. Um, and that, that's frustrating, really frustrating. But I understand, Ben, that you've actually taken this frustration and you're trying to build towards more coaching and positivity. Tell us about your Naked Professor site and project. Definitely, yeah. So I'm actually, I've got to the stage now where I'm thankful for this in my life because uh, it's a funny thing to say, but, you know, through my 20s when this was going on, uh, I was very close-minded and I was very shut off and, and um, the idea of personal development was something completely foreign to me. And I'm in a considerably different sp space to where I was when I was 20. Um, and that's led me to where the space I'm in now, which is starting this blog, which is about um, uh, embracing sort of vulnerability and our insecurities and the things that we have wrong with us and stripping masks. This is a, a big message to men in, in, in being more open with our um, issues and sharing them. Uh, um, because I was in that space, you know, at 20, that's where I lived. And I think that perhaps is related to uh, the, the issue. You know, I was shut off. I didn't feel emotions. I didn't embrace the lows and the highs. I just lived in this middle box. And I link that back to the whole sex aspect. Well, I'm not feeling the, 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 extor the, uh, the, the ecstasy of an orgasm. You know, I'm shut off from it, perhaps. So I've done a whole load of personal development stuff, and that's led me to the place where I've got this blog with which is a, a massive thing in my life now, and it's taking me on this amazing journey. And I believe that the blog may be a source to, to find a solution uh, to the problem. You're on the perfect path, not only for yourself, but I admire you because now you are helping other young men mm -hmm. with similar issues because we always say that if physically everything's okay, we often forget the most important sex organ is right here between your two ears. And I, I really admire, Ben, what you're doing turning this into a positive, not only for yourself, but helping others. And also, Millie, Millie and, and the rest of us were talking at length that since physically everything's okay, you will be able to have children there someday. Is hope. You yes. definitely will. We really applaud you bringing awareness to this. And there may be options, you know, beyond with fertility treatment, even with some simple measures. You can oftentimes reproduce or have a healthy family through insemination or even IVF. There's a lot of hope out there, a lot of options, and we thank you for sharing your story and helping many others. Right. Thank, you. thank you. Keep up the great work, Ben.